The state issued a flex alert from 4 to 9 tonight to ease demand on California's power grid. News Channel 3, Scott Sheehan joins us now live. And Scott, the state is asking us all to do our part to conserve power. Beth, CJ, that's right, they are. And behind me, this is one of Santa Barbara's power substations. The goal of this flex alert is to get customers to use less power when demand is up and supply is decreasing. So those that need the power don't lose it. Air conditioners across California are running at full blast as heat sweeps across the state. 6 p.m. is when demand for power in California is at its highest. The California Independent System Operator, or Cal ISO, forecasts 39 to 41,000 megawatts will be needed to power the state during the peak on Monday. The state's grid has a capacity of just over 50,000 megawatts, and exceeding that could trigger rolling power outages. Avoid using evaporative coolers or humidifiers when the air conditioning is running. Limit the opening and reopening of refrigerators. Reduce air conditioning usage and use fans where appropriate. To prevent blackouts, the state issued a flex alert, urging Californians to conserve power between 4 and 9 p.m. Turn off lights in any unoccupied areas and turn off auxiliary or redundant machinery where possible. The other issue, the state loses about half its renewable energy supply from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Most of that is solar power, which goes away as the sun does. Before a flex alert, the ISO recommends people pre-cool their homes, close windows and shades, and run any major appliances. Then during the flex alert, avoid using major appliances like washers and dryers. Raise those thermostats back up to 78 degrees or higher and turn off any unneeded lights. Cal ISO says flex alerts are only a temporary solution and the state is working to build more solar and wind energy generators as well as batteries for storage. For more tips and tricks on how to conserve energy for your home or office, visit our mobile app or website. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, Scott Sheehan, News Channel 3.